Welcome back to Midday Live, and we are getting ready to do a fun science project with mm -hmm. Mr. Science himself, Jason Lindsay. And let me just brag on you for a minute. A <laughs> nationally recognized STEM ed educator, or <laughs> I need some <laughs> <It's> education, <okay. laughs> educator, a meteorologist, and an author. So we're mm -hmm. so glad to have you here. Yeah, born right here in South Central Kentucky, went to Warren Central High School, fire breathing dragon for life, right? Yeah. And then, of course, the best college in the state, Western Kentucky University. Either way it goes, you know, last week, kids were out for snow days uh -huh. and it's that time of the year to where you might have the kids at home it's an NTI day or whatever and you're looking for something for those kids to do why not do science the exactly. whole purpose of hooked on science is not to come in with lab coats and Bunsen burners and beakers <laughs> we want kids to realize that you can do science outside of a laboratory and you can do it in the burn kitchen the house down you can do it in your regular clothes you don't have to have a lab coat on anybody can do science so I brought my hair dryer okay <laughs> Hell's hair. Doesn't it even look more beautiful than what it, it does? Really it's is. fluffier. <laughs> yeah. We blow dried that hair. We're going <laughs> to pretend like this is her hair. It lifted. So if you're just joining us earlier, mm -hmm. we took this and blew her hair around and it lifted up in the air. Right. Same thing here. Streamers, leaf blower, kids before doing science, have an adult around, wear the appropriate safety gear. Mm -hmm. Don't eat or drink your science experiment. So <laughs> how in the world can I quickly, rapidly unroll this? My breath isn't powerful enough. <sighs> I mean, it might nope. smell, but it's not powerful <laughs> enough to rapidly unroll it. Different type so of strong. Here's what we're yep. going to do. Exactly. You're going to hold that side, okay. and you're going to hold that okay. side, All and right. we're going to put a fast flow of air on top. This is actually a little bit about weather because high pressure will form on uh, on the underneath. A low will form on top because of the fast flow of air. Air blows from a high to low and lifts it up. Everywhere. Awesome. Impressive. Yes. I love that. Yes. <laughs> that one's fun. That one's cool. We make a mess in the living room. We'll clean that up a little right. bit later. So Do we one need to roll this back up now? Oh, <laughs> probably need to if we want to be good stewards just of Earth, as right? Right, 52 right. card pickup almost. Multiple <laughs> ping pong balls in here. You will notice there's close to 14. There's 13 actually. I know that because I've counted them. There's 14 if you had another one in there. <laughs> so one day I was like, oh, why don't we launch kids in the head with ping pong balls? Great idea, right? Yeah, not Can't use a leaf blower okay. here. Category one hurricane, that's too fast. Yep. But an actual hair dryer should work. So I grabbed some ingredients from the hardware store to engineer a ping pong ball launcher. So we messed up the meteorologist's hair. Why don't we launch ping pong balls at her too? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Do we're we not picking on her. Not come closer or is she in a... <laughs> She's got to be safe. Always <laughs> safe. We don't want to knock her right in. Every so here's how we're right going to do this. In a few minutes, there's a button on the bottom. You're going to turn it on, but we've got to plug it in, obviously, first, because oh, yes. we need that energy. So I'm going to unplug some stuff here to make sure we get this turned on. And then we're going to not ever launch any projectile at anyone's face, but toward the air, obviously. Yeah. So here's how it works. This goes on top, this goes here, this goes on top. We launched the ping oh, pong balls fun. at him. What okay, do you think? Sure, Should we? Sure. No, not no, safe science. <laughs> Who wants to hold the hair dryer? Oh man, I had practice this morning. Okay. So do it? Okay, okay. So how about both of you hold the hair dryer? I think we could do that. Turn it on, go ahead, turn it on just like that at the bottom. We're gonna, oh, let's do it on high, 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 high. Like this. Then we're gonna put this on top. And Oh, there we go. You will notice the ping pong balls are going everywhere. Watch them all over the studio. Now, your studio is probably seeing some interesting things, but ping pong balls and streamers, a big, giant science mess. Oh, my gosh. This has been so much fun. So where can we see more of your science videos mm -hmm. and maybe learn how to do them on our own? No, if it's a lot of your schools this evening, we'll actually be at Cumberland Trace Elementary doing a family science night with stations and all that good stuff, multiple schools in South Central Kentucky. But maybe you're not going to be there. You don't attend that school. HookedOnScience.org has free experiments that you can try at home, and you guess it, they use ingredients from around the house. Oh, nice. Well, Jason Lindsay, thank you so much you. for being here. Yes. You're welcome anytime. So glad to have you. Next time we'll smarter try to too right now. So. That's, that's right. We've learned something today. That's right. Always. And we'll be right back.